Hello and welcome to another episode of me painting again. Oh yeah, we're painting again and we're going to be doing a acrylic sky on a playing card. <laughs> Except this is not a tiny little playing card like I've been using to do these paintings on that. No. <laughs> Look at how small it is. This one's a bit bigger. Um, wanted to show you how I've been doing it, what I've been using, so you can uh, have a better idea of how to do uh, playing card painting, <laughs> which is what I'm calling it, playing card painting. It is an interesting uh, thing to do, I've been enjoying it, and I've been using, um, just for ease of use on these playing cards, I've been using acrylics, and uh, I do plan on using oils as well, but at the moment I'm using acrylics to uh, just get used to it, and uh, and then I'll probably end up moving on to oils as well as <laughs> I say moving on. I always move in between mediums. I always like trying other mediums. Oils I find. I'm used to them the most, I suppose, so I know, I know how they behave. So I'm making my blue using ultramarine blue and cerulean blue, and uh, see what this looks like. Yeah, a bit darker. Starting at the top. I'm gonna leave. That's a bit too dark. That's a bit better. A bit more sky looking, isn't that? So we start at the top part, and uh, I'm going to dodge areas where clouds are. And I've got the paint on quite thick. It's mostly just paint. Uh, there's no mediums or anything in there. Um, I think you're better off using as little medium as possible with either oils or acrylics I believe it's just my personal opinion if you can use it out of the tube then you're going to get a stronger colour so as we, we come down the horizon we go, oh, let's get a bit lighter and this, uh, you, can, you can mix it as you go no problem. And as you come back up, you can add a bit more of the colour, and then you can blend that together if you need. Just enjoy yourself. Enjoy yourself painting like I do. <laughs> I have so I, I have a lot of fun painting. I do. I really do. It's good fun. I enjoy it. Right, so we'll create this shape. Maybe we'll have a break there in the sky. I'm using a reference picture, but I'm not going to do it the same. I'm going to change it. So I want to change it to the way I think it should be. <laughs> that bit of control, that bit of uh, extra power. This is the way I want it. And as an artist, that's what you should be thinking, shouldn't you? The way I want it. There we go. Maybe a bit, bit more light in this area here. Looks a little bit too dull to me. Building it. Okay. Go. So have a a look at that. Sit back, have a look, and uh, see what you think. And then uh, I think that gives me quite a good start. As that's drying, I'm gonna uh, start throwing in some clouds. Just dry my brush. Oh, I've got to get a paper towel. <laughs> Just get one. Right. Okay. 
It's a good idea to dry your brush on a paper towel in between picks. Right, I'm going to get a bit of the uh, red, cad red, throw that into this blue mix. So we get a, uh, sort of a dark, maybe a yellow ochre in there. Let's see what we've got. This is going to be our dark part of the clouds, more of the red. Yeah, quite like that. Now we need to stop building this big cloud here. There's a big cloud in this area. This is a bit too. It's probably about right. A bit lighter. Yeah, that's probably better. And I'll stop building the. Uh, shadow area of this using uh, different mixtures, put little bits of white in go darker, go lighter whatever you want to do I like to uh, put different mixes in, I don't want it all to be the same Having fun with it. Just putting down a, uh, of a dark area there. I like that. A bit more blue in that bit there. If you're uh, having a go at doing these <laughs> cards, it's an easy way of uh, getting a painting. I mean, you don't have to buy a canvas, <laughs> you buy a set of cards instead. <laughs> then you have like loads to do then. I, I give my card a very thin gesso uh, and, and then lightly sand it most of the time. Unless I put a really nice coat of gesso down I sand it. Sometimes I uh, gesso in it just comes out perfect so I don't need to sand it but yeah you just feel it see if you want it to be a bit stronger or not something else that I try and do and I, I think this is just, just in normal painting not just in uh, painting miniatures and things I try and use the biggest brush possible if I can use the biggest brush possible and then I'll move on to the smaller brush if I can't do it. <laughs> I do that in all painting now. Aim, aim for the biggest brush and then uh, if I think, well, this isn't really working, I ain't got enough control, I'm messing it up, <laughs> then uh, I go to a different brush. Of a more of a blue tone this cloud here. Still grey. So I'm going to start doing different types of lessons um, as well as these, but they're going to be on a different page. On the, I'm going to start like it's Gum Road. Thing. I can do more educational lessons, but then I'll carry on doing paintings on here because I've been asked a lot for uh, more educational lessons like courses and things. So I'm going to start making them, but I still I just want to be <laughs> aware that they will happen. It just takes a long time <laughs> to create classes where paintings like this I can set up and go but there, there will be uh, in production very soon 
So yes, here we go. It's building, building, building. Maybe there's a bluer area there. So of course, with, with acrylics, they do tend to dry fast. These um, ones that I'm using, Italia ones, they seem to stay open quite a while. And that, these are actually the first paints that I bought. Well, first decent ones that I bought, I should say. And uh, I kept them, even though I have failed many times painting. <laughs> and not just with acrylics, with everything. I think that's the only way you you get better, don't you? You gotta fail, you gotta do some really bad paintings and fail a few times, and then uh, <laughs> every now and then you do something a bit better and a bit better, and then you start improving. And suddenly your paintings are. Uh, were you a little bit happier? <laughs> I don't think you ever get really, really happy. Well, maybe you do, but uh, there has been times when I've been really happy with something. And I thought, yes. Yes. I think that's got a bit too light there now. There we go. Let's put a cloud here. Oh, there is now. <laughs> Just mixing this up a bit. So well, this can go over the top of that blue. It's sort of drying a little bit. Okay. So this sky is something that I saw <laughs> in the back garden. And I was like, oh, that's good. I do like um, skies. I'm always, always looking at skies. I can't stop. <laughs> I've been caught a few times at work just staring up, up at the sky. I think people thought I was a bit crazy. There I was staring away. <laughs> Might switch to a smaller brush now. I'm not sure what this is. It's a watercolour brush. So I'm... I'm uh, I don't really think about the brushes I use. So I'm, I'm going to get a warmer colour now. A bit of yellow ochre. Actually, before I do that, I might get a bit more of this in here. Grabbing a bit of water just to wet this a bit. I'll just add this tone in there before I add my light. Now it's better. This is coming up on camera. <laughs> it should do. So, add a bit of light now. So, I've got bits of light in areas. So, we'll just pick them out. See what this colour looks like. Yeah, it looks quite good. I like that. The light behind this cloud here. Knock off a bit of the paint. And then you can be a bit more subdued. Some of it. Blend it a little bit. Bit of light on there as well. Coming down. I might get a little bit of red in, in with this in places as well. Soften it with my finger. Ok. 
Okay. And uh, yeah, it does work nicely with a bit of red in it. Warm it up a bit. Let's uh, have a look at this area. A bit of a bit there and a bit there. Bit more white, a bit lighter. When you're uh, out looking at clouds, <laughs> like me, always looking, <laughs> you start seeing lots of different colours in the cloud and different shapes, and they are amazing. The other morning, I was driving to work, and the uh, the moon was really bright. I mean, the moon was just so bright. I wasn't. I went, when I looked out the window because I was working early. I was like, whoa, what's going on? <laughs> it looks light out there. And it was the moon. <laughs> the moon was just blasting its reflected light everywhere. It was amazing. I was like, um, what's going on? And then as I was driving, I was, <laughs> well, one eye on the road. <laughs> one eye up in the skies looking at the clouds the clouds were like almost white in at night time i was like wow this is amazing what a privilege to look at easily pleased i am easily pleased a good sky <laughs> something different i'm happy i'm happy then i'm happy <laughs> Something to think about for a painting. So we're sort of building this up. Building it up. You can get really, uh, really subtle with your colours as well. Just a bit of red in this. A bit of red, a bit of blue. Let's get this sort of the middle wash of a colour and it'll, it'll kind of vanish a little bit as it dries this colour you'll, you'll see what I mean as it sort of vanishes but some of it will still be there So these uh, episodes, they're, they're just to give you ideas. Um, I know there's ways you could do, well, there's hundreds of ways you can do paintings, isn't there? <laughs> Lots of styles and materials and techniques. This is just gives you an idea how to do something. And then you can just do it. Let's see what this red looks like. I don't need to be too strong. Maybe a little bit. Just on it a little bit. It's probably a bit better. Tap it away. <laughs> It just sh shows you how you can make changes. I felt like the clouds were a little bit too cold, so in, in areas, just warm it up. Warm it up with a bit of red. Okay. Just wiping that with a paper towel. Now what I'm thinking is to get, bring in some really dark brown there, blue, brown and blue. What does that make? Makes black. Yes. Just throw that in there, see what that looks like. <laughs> we need it a bit redder. Throw in some red. 
warm it up a bit. Bit more blue and a bit more red. Oh, I think that's right. Might be a touch too dark, but we'll give it a go. That looks good. Give it a go. So I want to uh, start building this cloud here. Getting that dark area in there. You get some really uh, dark parts of clouds. So I want to uh, show that. Just washing my brush and, and then uh, wetting it a little bit. Then you can sort of wash away some of the edges, soften it. together a little bit there. Okay, maybe a little bit more blue in it. More blue in that. Maybe it sort of creeps up there, part, part of the cloud there. And this part. If it starts to drag and you want it to be a bit smoother you can add a bit of water so I tend to use acrylics <laughs> like gouache because uh, I know I painted a lot of gouache and um, so I tend to use acrylics like them or am I using gouache like acrylics I'm not sure <laughs> it's just painting isn't it yeah, let's have a look at that. That's starting to add a bit more to it. Starting to wonder if a light blue colour in the areas as well. Just to see how it looks. Yeah, that does look interesting. Changes it. Not too much though. Don't want it to do too much. Just a little bit. Now the under part of the uh, cloud as well. Need a bit of light there, just creeping through. And on top of the, uh, I just mix some of this dark in with my light, and then we can do the tops of these clouds that come in here. Bit of light. getting out quite a nice look now well I quite like it anyway <laughs> like I said when you do yours you can do it however you want it to look change change things to the way you want it to be use a little bit of your own imagination or your own pictures your own reference you can have fun with this idea. And practicing clouds is important because 
you might be doing a, uh, a portrait for somebody and they want want to be outside and you get to take a photo of them outside but let's say the sky is rubbish on the day <laughs> it's dull you don't you get a bit of light on their face but you don't really get the sky that you was after so what do you do you change it you change the sky to the one that you painted before and you use that and and then when they get it they think it's amazing <laughs> and you get a pat on the back so I'm just picking out areas that I want to be a little bit lighter I think we've gone a bit too dark down here so I'm going to lighten this do my little bit of a wash <laughs> using a bit of white there we go let's have a look at that that's quite a good looking sky it's fierce isn't it I'm going to just get a little bit more of the light and uh, here and there I'm just going to tap in a few little wispy bits and there was a, even a plane going <laughs> there we go Okay, maybe a bit more light there. Looking light dark. Now at the very front, you could just see, just getting some yellow into my dark that I made using blue. Remember? That's ultramarine blue and burnt umber. And then a little bit of yellow ochre. Make it a bit darker. Okay, and using this, we'll start putting in. So we've got a tree. You can only sort of see a few branches. Like I said, I took this picture and I wanted a, uh, I just wanted a sky, I just wanted to practice my skies, so. So I, li I like this one, so I'll do this one. I don't know, I've, been, I've been asked about paint on card, so while I practice. <laughs> Might give you some ideas. So there we go. I think um, maybe I'll just add. <laughs> Why not? There's a lot of birds that fly around this bit, so let's put in a couple. Uh, So yeah, um, I think we'll call that one finished. Um, thanks very much for watching this episode. I hope it gave you some ideas on uh, acrylic painting on card. Um, and uh, hopefully I will see you at another episode. Cheers, bye.